Hi guys, Tech James here. So last video I actually downgraded my PS TV. It was on firmware 3.68 and I managed to downgrade it to 3.65 using Modaru. So if you want to watch that video, it's probably the last video on the channel. So in this video, seeing as it's on 3.65, I thought I might as well permanently hack it and install Enso. So what this means is I won't have to open up um, Hencore every time. It will just have permanent custom firmware on here. So this is actually more simple than you probably think. The first thing you want to do is just go ahead and open up VitaShell. Now keep in mind this only works on 3.65 um, or 3.60. So just press on the select button and then connect it to your PC and I will show you guys what to do next. So guys, I will leave a link to Enso in the description of this video. It's actually made by the official Flow. And if you guys want to get it, just scroll down and it's pretty simple. We just need to click on this, enso.vpk. We need to get version 1.1 or whatever version is latest um, at the time you're watching this video. So we're just going to click on this and it's just going to download in a second. Once it has finished downloading, let's go to our downloads folder and find the VPK file. So here it is. And now what you want to do is drag and drop this onto your PS Vita or your PS TV. I'm just going to use FileZilla to connect via FTP server. So you want to put in the host, you want to put in the port, and then just click on Quick Connect. So here we are connected to my PS TV. Um, I think we're just going to dra drag and drop this VPK file into the, let's just put it into the UXO for now. So just drag and drop it in there. It should come up this notification saying all files have been successfully transferred. We can just close out of that. If you go into UXO, you should be able to find it in here. So here it is. Now let's go back onto our PS TV. Let's install it and I will show you guys how it works. Once we have got our file, let's just press cancel on this and let's go and find it. So mine was on my UXO. If I scroll all the way down, I should be able to find it. Here it is, enso.vpk. Let's just press on X, X again, and then X one more time and it will start installing. Once it has been installed, let's now just close out of each shell by just pressing the home button. And now we can find the application on our home screen. So here it is, Enso. Let's just press X and then just press X on start. So it's going to come up with this kind of like message saying this software will make permanent modifications and um, if it goes wrong, um, there's no recovery. Obviously, we hope it's not going to go wrong. It shouldn't. Um, just press circle to accept the agreement right now. Okay, so if you press the X, it installs or reinstalls it. If you press triangle, it will uninstall it, making your custom firmware not permanent anymore. If you press um, square, it will fix the boot configuration. And if you just press circle, it's just going to exit the program. I want to install it, so I'm going to press the cross, um, or also known as X. Okay, now it's just going to check your system and it's going to see if it can actually permanently hack your firmware. So as I said before, this is only on 3.65. Once it's done, press any key to reboot. I'm just going to press on X. Now, when it reboots, normally we would have to open up the the HN core hack because obviously we need to just launch it every time but now because we've rebooted and we have permanent custom firmware it should be running automatically now we can actually test this by opening up any app and also going into the system settings so I think first of all and um, normally it's going to give you an error if we open a Vita shell so let's just try it and there you go Vita shell opens without any error so let's just press the home button again um, we can also just check in settings and we should have permanent custom firmware. So if I scroll down, we're looking for system, system information, and there you go. I did not launch Hencore, and we're on 3.65 um, with the two Chinese symbols. So that is pretty much it for this video. This is how you install Enso and get it working. Really, really simple, and um, maybe you didn't realize how simple it actually was. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.